Hey everyone, it's Monday the 30th of September and the time is currently 9.15 in the morning. Right, today I've got an update on the uh, mountain bike project plus we're going to be looking at project number two which just needs some repairs and the addition of a rear brake. So first, there it is, it hasn't moved. <laughs> it's still in the same spot from the last video. But, I did find some handlebar grips over in the workshop, so I've fitted those. I brought home a little rubber doicky thing for that. So, that's actually good for a test ride. I'm not actually happy with the position of that though. That chain is a bit short. So at some point I might have to put a longer chain on it. But it should be fine for now. I mean it goes around perfectly fine so I'm not going to worry about it. As long as it shifts and whatnot. If it works fine I'm just going to leave it. And of course I trimmed the brake cable down and put a little uh, end on it. Actually, come up uh, a lot better than I thought it would. Tires. Yep, they've held there. Right, next project is over there, so I need to swap these around. But to do that, I need to move the camera. So I'm actually going to bring the camera in closer um, for this next bike. What are you two doing? You bullied your sister again. Yep. Right, I'll be back in a minute. There's project number two. It's a Muddy Fox. Can't quite read it from here. Rebel or something. Um, yeah, I bought this quite cheap. Um, a young lad I know. I've bought some bikes from him in the past. Messaged me on Facebook and said, did I want it for 30 quid? So I thought, yeah, why not? I'm getting the cable caught up around the camera. Um, now, everything worked on it, apart from the rear brake, because it doesn't exist. <laughs> and the bottom bracket bearings here were uh, completely knackered. Uh, but uh, I had the big issue of trying to get this undone. Did not want to budge. No, I used these. I used bigger of these. I couldn't get a pipe wrench on it because it just wasn't enough thread showing. Um, yeah, it's just being an absolute pig, basically. So I took the frame over to Mum's because I have got the wheels for this. That's uh. They're out in the hallway. I think it's got to go that way in. Um, so I just took the wheels out so it was easier to get in the car. And I took it over to Mum's. And that was a heck of a fight. To get to... Uh, looks like you may have uh, ordered this chain up quite recently as well. It's all over the frame. <laughs> Let's give that a, bit of a wipe while I'm here. What is this chain doing as well? I've got no idea. Oh, yes I do. It's going to go like that. Oh, I see. It's completely fell off the drain of neck. There we go. I'll be alright once I've got the, uh, the BB back on. Yeah, I ended up using an angle grinder so I could cut better groove in so I could get a flathead screwdriver in and a hammer. Um, so I could basically use that method to unwind it enough till I could get the pipe wrench on. And a gas torch. A map gas torch. You know, one of them sort of plumbers use. Very handy things. Unfortunately, I've just used all the gas up in it. <laughs> well, there weren't a lot in it anyway. Um, and about half an hour or so of twisting it. But once I'd got the, the um, old one of these out to... Uh, 
far enough so I could get a pipe wrench on it, it spun out fine after that. Well I say fine, it was still tough but I did get it to spin. So got some brand new bottom bracket bearings with a tube of lithium grease. Three pounds. I thought I'd uh, bring you in on a close-up on this one. So you can actually see well, see better for one and uh, properly see how to do this. Where's my bit of card? I don't want to lay these bearings on hairy carpet. Let's get the grease opened up first. There, we go. there is a right way and a wrong way to put these on. You need to put them on, preferably without throwing them around. So this flat bit goes on that way and goes up against the little race. And then what you need to do is put a little bit of a squidge of grease. Well, there is some in there. So they give me an empty tube for a second there. I couldn't get any out. But I'll just like to grit, squeeze it all around like that. I don't know if I'm going to have enough in there. And that slides in like that. And then what I like to do is to get those, drop those in there again with the uh, flat part of the bearings facing towards you. Squeeze the grease in and around it like that. Throw them on the floor. I'm getting good at that. I'll try and get some of that fluff out of it now. You will end up using the whole tube of grease. It's what's handy to have a rag at hand as well. And that just goes on like that. I think the thread on this might be a little bit boogered. But with a little bit of a finagling, this will screw in fine. I've already checked it. Some of them are, are actually a pig to get started, like this one, and some of them go in very nicely. This one's being a pig. On the other bike, it went in nicely. There we go, I got it. Well, that's screwing in a heck of a lot nicer than the other one came out. Now, you can get proper tools for these, obviously, but I find you can use an adjustable slider over. When you've got it adjusted correctly and you can just turn it. Like so. It's actually threading in a lot better than I thought it would. I thought that's going to be a little bit of resistance there. Whoops, I've done that far too tight. Back that off a bit. Just a smidge. A smidge more. Need it somewhere there. locking ring on. I'm not going to do it up fully tight yet because I want to get the crank set on so I can make sure I've got that correct and then I can tighten it up and whatnot. Alrighty, so here's our right side. I've got a bolt stuck in it. That bolt gets stuck in there. There we go. I don't know what gear I'm in. Let's do that so it's actually in the small gear. It'll be, make life a lot easier. And it can go on there. So. should have my box of bits over here. Where the bits that I got 
grips in the workshop. So I bought a selection of handlebar grips out for the other one. I don't know why. I didn't need to. But uh, in here, I've not only got a choice of V brakes. I've got a choice up there as well that came off the other bike. Bloody spring fell off that one. That's all rubbish. I should have a selection of uh, bottom bracket bolts here. Yeah, I found one. Socket. Get this bolted on now. Going the right way. Try not to drop tools on the floor. That's bad. sort of V-brakes I'm going to go for. Might just put the ones on that are up here that came off that other bike. It's done up mostly tight, a bit tighter than it was before anyway, because it's come off really, really easy. Which sort of tells me someone might have been in here before and tried to do that and couldn't get it off. Stuck these back on. One. Then we do our left side. Making sure we get our pedals in the correct position, of course. That's pretty good, actually. I don't think I've got to make any adjustment. I'm just uh, tap that around. There's a cap, dust cap, and come off that side, I think. I don't know where the other one is though. It must be the one for this one must be here if it had one. I can't even remember if it had one. But if it is, it'll be here somewhere because this is where I took this side off. I took that side off at Mum's. Hang on, that's not the bolt I wanted actually. Where's the other one? There it is. This has got exactly the same pedals on it as the um, black bike. There we go. Yeah, all the gears and everything worked on this. The front brake worked. Needs some adjustment, but it did work. Has got a rear brake and it's needed this problem fixed, and I've fixed it. <laughs> oh. That job done. Right. Uh, I guess we're putting the wheels on next. I might just pause you so I can change the uh, camera angle. The camera angle well. Actually, you know what? I don't really need to pause you, do I? I'll just pick you up and uh, stare at the mug for a minute. And just extend the tripod legs again. I think I might have just heard postman or something, because I am actually expecting a parcel. I just heard something out there anyway. Right. I might just have to move the camera back a bit further. Yep, got the wheels. Ouch. The weather was actually right for a change. It is absolutely shite out there today. And it's supposed to be shite. 
for the next three days. I, what one didn't I lock? That one. Okay, I think that's the one I've got to run to, isn't it? Going up, guys. Here we go. Snowy's up on the cat tree. I've done that bit up too tight now. Yes, it's horrible. It, I went out at 6 o'clock to get breakfast, but uh, actually it's more like 6.30 by the time I crawled out of bed. Whoa, what's going on there? <laughs> what happened there? Oh, I haven't done that bit. <laughs> I think we're there. Yeah, it was dry when I went out this morning. Looking in dry now, it's horrible. Right, we'll get the front wheel in. Only because it's the first wheel that I picked up. We seem to have some extra spaces and washers here. Do I actually need those? the inside anyway. I'll put them on the outside, which I believe is where they were in the first place. All the nuts are fighting me on this bike. This one don't want to thread on there now. too small, 15 seems to be too big, that nut must be rounded. What I might do, I'll just use an adjustable on it. slight rub. Come out a little bit more. moving. That got stuck. Now. 
rear wheel. Just to make life a little easier, because I don't think I did it when I took the wheel out. Right? down into the hardest. It's easier to get your wheel in. Hmm. I think I've just discovered we might need to change the uh, free wheel on this because that's a five speed and I've got a feeling this is a, a six speed shifter. I did not notice that. Fond of this style of dropout either. I have got six speed free wheels back at the workshop. I'll just bring one out next time I'm over there. Easy enough job to fit it. Well, easy enough as long as I remember to bring my tool. I don't like this style of drop out because you've got to keep the wheel aligned. No, I apologise, I'm blocking your view. Get that one up, it's near enough in the middle. There, that won't do anything. <laughs> Can't be set up for that then. That'll do. Where is that bit stiff? I might back those wheel bones off a little bit, but I'll do that when. Um, Wheel. Yeah, it's in second on that shifter rather than um, first. It's actually quite a light bike, this one. Lighter than the other one. Ooh, front brake works really well, actually. Brake lever and everything is in the wrong position now. Um, reposition you guys. Everything but the bit I want to move is moving, including the legs. Grab a couple of bolts from that cardboard box. 
bolt the V-brake on, attach a cable. Bob's your uncle. You've been fed, you're not getting fed again. Pig. Alright, don't get there. Get a couple of bolts. We're going to need a noodle. Got a noodle up there, I can use that one. Actually, I've got a couple of bolts up here as well. Um, and a rubber doohickey. Of course, hex keys. Where are my hex keys from? Oh. Wire cutters will also be fairly useful. They're the hex keys I want. I'm just going to go with these. These are the ones that came off the other bike. Actually, I'm not sure that will because this just broke off. There we go. It's back on. This. I really could do with another pair of brake blocks as well, actually. Uh, they are very good. I don't think I've bought any out. For now, pick. I knew that would do that. Okay. I've managed to get black paint all over this brake block as well. Thing is, look at the difference. That one, perfectly fine. I mean, I can't see what I'm doing. I didn't turn the screen around. So that one's actually pretty good. But look at this one. Why so different? I'm not actually so sure I want to go with these ones now. One. I've got one here with a brake block in it. I think I might just go with these ones actually. I'm going to find some brake blocks up and what? Not only the ten more for this. Now we're digging for a ten mil. place. These are the only ones I could find that weren't, you know, part of a set where I only had just the one pair. Blocks. Might, might have actually gone as far as I can with this one. As I can find a couple of brake blocks. Wonder if that would be easier. 
this one. And I'm meant to have that ball joint on the end so you can, you know, angle a lever, angle the iron key. That'll work. So if I can get it in by hand. That way I haven't got to fight with the hex key so much. Why what to use a short bolt? Take a little bit of time. I'll just hit the thread lock. There was a mud guard on the back of this, but uh, that fell off. I just didn't want to put it back on. I only popped off the bracket, I just didn't want to put it back on. Take this off again, that can be a chore. Nearly there. You know what? I might use that bloody short one for the other side. And then come through this again. Where is it? Is it that one? No. Here it is. I don't know if I've got any more short ones. So I've got a brake pad up there. spring on it because the other side is not adjusted. The screw is all the way in on this one. It isn't on this one. It's nearly all the way out. That's better. I can adjust that later now. Okay. We need a cable adjuster now. And I've got to turn our attention to the handlebar. Uh, where did I put it? This. I forgot I had this over at the workshop as well, so I pulled that back. Says dropping everything on the floor. See, I don't know. These are Dresco branded cables, which I have no problems with. They've worked perfectly well. But for some reason, they give you two different lengths of cable, you know, front and rear. Why? Why not just give you two of the same length and you just cut it down to whatever length you need. I mean the universal cables, because you've got that end on which is common for the road bikes and your racing bikes and pretty much that one for everything else. So you've just got to make sure you cut the one off that you don't need. <laughs> don't cut the one off that you do need. Because yeah. that end won't work on a road bike and the other end won't work on a thingy. 
mountain bike, so I need to cut off the road bike one. That's a good shot. that I would normally do it, but it worked. And now that's got stuck in there. Why has that got stuck? There we go. Alright, what do I do with that cable adjuster? There's one. Which, uh, Kwinky Dinkly matches the one that's on here. Brake levers are just absolute crap. Where your adjuster screws into it, that thread always goes. Always. I would have thought a Muddy Fox would have been better quality than that. I mean, I've used fairly decent grip shifts on this. But then skimped out on the brake, unless someone's changed the brake levers at some point, maybe. Right. Okay, the length of this cut. I think somewhere there will do. Snippity snip. Rather you didn't play with the end of the cable smudge because they can get sharp. I speak from experience and have the sore fingers to prove it. <laughs> I actually want to turn this around. Do we actually have? Does it come with ferrules? Nope. I was just wondering if the pack actually came with the ferrules to go on the ends of these, but it doesn't. adjuster I was looking for. So what I need now is another small piece. I don't really want to cut it off of that big old length. Have I got a bit laying somewhere? That I could just pinch a bit from. I'm going to get this thread up down here. Fine, so I can cut that size. Good. All right. There's the noodle. Also, we've got to be a rough guesstimate. I'd rather make this bit too long than too short, though. Yeah, a 
bit shorter than that. About there. And I've got that stuck in the brake. Now I find that these metal ferrules don't often go into those noodle bits here very well, so I don't mind not using one. Because you can buy them, you can get those bits, you can get them in plastic as well. But I just find they don't fit that well into the noodles on the V-brake. You know, they don't go into there very well. And then I find that in the future you have the problems of trying to get the bloody things out because they've rusted in. So I personally prefer not to. What's that? Now I'm not going to put the little rubber bit on. Because when I do that I know for a fact it's going to fly off somewhere. Again, I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> I've done it more times than I care to count. I spend five minutes trying to find it because it's flicked somewhere across the room. Or the workshop. Or the yard or wherever I'm working. Right, that's a bad brake block on that one, isn't it? I don't really want to use that. It's not an exact match. But I'm not too worried about that. I mean, it's not actually far off, to be honest. No, it isn't. It's just a different brand. Same material, I think this one's just a little bit on the longer side. Spring and fold that as well. I'm going to bin those V brakes because they're crap. No, they are actually a match. <laughs> How about that? How about there? Right, I'm going to get with these. I've got to come back down here now, so I'll adjust you, so you can see what I'm doing. Shit. Chucking spaces around now. Come here. Come here. Well, that, the parcel has arrived what I think has arrived. I'll be doing some more filming after this. Or actually, I might wait until... Um, someone's been and collected an audio amplifier I'll put on marketplace. I'm not using it, it's kicking around here doing it absolutely jack. So I thought I'd get rid of it. mil on it or a six that's got the six on it so I've got to steal a five mil off the one over there just so a oh, match and I've got to change all these spaces around as well so they matches that one Spaces. You can get a nice uh, deep one and you can get shallow ones. I always like to put the deeper ones on first. And then with that you get like a, a domed spacer which goes into the little uh, indentation on that side so that would go in with the dome downwards. Sit this up here. Considering this brake block's full of paint, I'm not really sure how well that's going to work. Yep, 
It's okay. Making sure our garage is okay. Because I find that if you space it so these brake blocks are closer to the wheel and these V-brakes move closer to the tyre, in the future you don't have much room for adjustment if you need it. That's why I do it this way. I mean, I suppose in fairness you could do it either way you want. As so long as it works. This is just uh, my preferred way. I find it awkward bit is trying to hold the brake pad in that position while you tighten the bloody nut up. And like so. Right, now we can attach our cable. Lost me rubber doobry for a second there. I don't know why I keep saying doobry. Bit of grass sticking out of it for some reason. I don't know where that came from. Right, make sure this one undone, our little cable clamp. So you don't want to be too close to the rims, otherwise wheel no spin. Now I've got Snowy chasing the bloody cable. <laughs> okay. You can see there's a bit of brick scrub there. Do you believe it? The bloody cables popped out of the uh, brake lever. Poo! Another reason I hate these bloody style epoxy brake levers. I know they're cheap, but come on. It doesn't mean you can't design something that's not bloody, you know, somewhat bloody user, useful. Right. So now I've got to undo this again. Because I'm going to need the cable slack. Completely popped off. Need a bit of slack, that's it. Let's get the cable adjust there again. Let's get all of that back together. Attached to the lever, the cable is working. Let's try this for a second time, shall we? Leave enough there, so I've got a bit of play. I've got a feeling yeah, if any side's going to be a problem, it's going to be this one. Screwed. That 
that's worked. It's just not very springy now. <laughs> I know I should have bought a bit more of a selection of uh, brakes out, but never mind. That will, it's working. It's just not my preference. You know, I like it where there's barely any gap between pulling the brake lever on and uh, your pads hitting the wheel. But some people like a little bit more give in their brake levers than that, so. Uh, I need my little bag of cable ends. I'm trying to find them. I had them a second ago. Got some uh, parts as well for the yellow trike that I've got. I want to get that fixed up and sorted. Typically, I now can't find my little baggie of cable ends. Finding plenty of rubbish on the floor. Do, 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 do. I did chuck a couple of uh, brake blocks in here, but not very much. It's difficult that cable's just come unraveled. What are you doing up there, Missy? She's the monkey, by the way. She's the one that likes to climb on everything. Smudge doesn't. That's what she likes to do. Okay, so I'm certainly not in that box. So I'm just going to pick a few bits up off the floor. Put back in the box and then maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Oh. Let's get rid of that, that's rubbish. A lot of this I'll take back to the workshop when I'm done. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you know, apparently these cable ends are two pounds for a pack of ten. Used to be cheaper than that, but uh, you know how it is. Things keep going up in price. I mean, it can't cost a bloody lot to make, you know, a shitload of these. I hate these pissing baggies. You can never open them. Either that or I'm just not patient enough. Either. You decide. <laughs> right, there we go. So... The only other thing I want to do with this is just adjust these brake leaves and things because they're all... <laughs> I don't like their positioning and they are all sort of higgledy piggledy That may not bother some people, but I do like a bit of symmetry myself. This one's too high. Fine with the grip shifts where they are, I just want to lower that a little bit. Bring that one. Yeah, they are roughly in the same spot. Got webs or some shit on there. Yeah, I wish I'd have noticed the uh, gears a bit sooner because I might have brought a six speed egg with me. It does 
improve though, if you haven't got it, you can set things up to work without it, because this just doesn't use the first gear, it just goes up to the second, that's it. But I could soon set it up again to use a six speed, and I've got a six speed, I might as well bloody use them. Shimano ones as well. Forks work alright on this one. Yeah, it's another one. I do kind of like this bike. But will I like it when I go for a ride on it? <laughs> I want to get the gears sorted properly before I do that. If I can find a different set of V-brakes to go on there. Because I can see that side being a problem. I bet the spring is worn out in there. I don't have to take the cable ends off. I can just disconnect it from there and then pull the noodle out of there. So that's not an issue. Boop! Major jump. <laughs> just made snowy jump. She was up there. She's still up there, yeah. She's up there with the back to me. So I just went boop, major jump. Boop the booty. Yeah, I don't think she's happy. The tail's going. Although I find with snowy, when the tail is going like that, she's in a quite a playful mood. Aren't you? Yeah. I wonder where Smudge is. He's behind you guys on the floor, on his back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can get the camera low enough just to catch him. Yeah, I can. There he is. He's the cuddle bug out of the two. A number of times I end up with him up on the computer desk when I'm trying to game or something like that. Oh, that reminds me, I've got a gaming video to do as well. Busy day of recording. So, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Because I doubt that person's going to be much longer. They said 11 o'clock. Um... Yeah, it's about 45 minutes, if they turn up. I wouldn't blame them in this crappy weather. I don't know where they've got to come from. Also, I'm guessing English is not their first language. Because that was a little bit... Uh, um, it was understandable, but not... You know, the grammar wasn't quite there, if that makes sense. And the name wasn't a British-sounding name, so... <clears throat> But if I can make use of it, then they're welcome to it. Better than having it kicking around here doing nothing. I'm using one of my amplifiers right now on the PC. That's all I need. You wait, I'll, I'll get rid of that amplifier later and then that one on the computer desk will die. That'd be just my luck. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And remember, if you want to see more videos like this and all the other weird and wonderful stuff that I, I'm interested in and whatnot, like lamps, the diecast cars, etc. Then hit that subscribe button. It's free. It just takes a few seconds. Just click somewhere. I don't know which side that would be. I think it's this side. <laughs> anyway, much appreciated if you do, and thanks a lot if you do decide to subscribe and like the video, of course. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.